Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Safe Take Ages, episode 10. W guys, we're at the ocean. Uh, it took us quite a quite a time to get here. Because I traveled all these on foot. Uh, but uh, thank God we have the wild dog bell boots. Because otherwise it would have taken uh, three times the time anyways guys we're at the ocean because we're looking for some 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 what are we looking for okay, this stuff the corallium gem off camera i dug some out i found a nice cave and uh, yeah basically corallium ore spawns uh, like a normal vanilla minecraft ore and i'll show you how I found some. So guys, I first of all I found an ocean. Um, the ore can also be found in um, swamp biomes, but ocean biomes is easier to come around for me at least. And what I did is, uh, you can use a raft. Be smarter than me. So you see these. Um, I'm not sure how to call them, but they're pockets of air. Because there's a rock, and yeah, there's a pocket of air created. So I swam up to one of them and just... Uh, there you go. And just found... Uh, corallium ore close to such pockets. With my dowsing rod. Then I would dig straight down. While I'm in the pocket, in the air pocket. Uh, dig a hole of uh, four, two by two. Um, oh, <laughs> we don't even need to dig too far away, guys. There you go, corallium or So, uh, the process for me was that uh, go to an air pocket in the ocean, dig a hole, two by two, three deep, block of uh, jump in, block of the ocean, and now I can breathe. And I also can dig for Corallium ore. But yeah guys, I was lucky enough. This isn't how I got 4 stacks plus. So I was lucky enough uh, to find a cave here under the ocean. By, um, by using my weak dowsing rod. I found a block of Corallium ore. I dug straight to it and I ended up in a cave. And uh, yeah, it was very easy to find. Uh, corallium in such way and then I just dig up and swim up so yeah guys I'll, uh, I'll see if I have some footage from the cave if I do I'll include it for you to see but nothing interesting just running around, around the cave uh, getting some corallium and uh, yeah guys I'll I wish I had a slime sling but it's not available yet because this distance is quite quite away and this time I'll I'll time it so I'll see you back home guys guys I can see our home in the distance noise um, so it took about seven minutes maybe I was sleepy last night and that's why I thought it took like 20 or 30 minutes all right, guys, I'm uh, going for a quick sleep and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to make is some of those. Yes, gem clusters, corallium gem clusters. I mean, you can go like this and you get one, which is nine gems, but for some reason, this, this one is more cost effective because with nine with eight stone you just get one but here you use six stone so yeah i'm not sure why would you do the other way and i think we can uh, turn them all into clusters Wish. That. 
What is going on? I don't have enough stone. Get more stone. Man. Thirty-two beryllium infused stone. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. I'm not sure if we need more than that, but I'm really hoping it will be enough. So, you just uh, smelt those things. Oops. Smelt those. Uh, we'll leave one. Not sure if we'll ever need it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let's leave it here. And I'll be back when they are done. Actually, <laughs> they are done. So, what I wanted to build is an energy pedestal. We'll need. We'll need. Where is it? Where is it? Um, I think if you go like this, dark. Gem. 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 A shadow gem, and you go and you press Y. Sorry, I need to get off the search and then press Y. Yeah, it shows. See, it shows which chest it's in. A uh, nice future to have, guys. So, one shadow gem, one uh, coralio more, and six or seven monolith stone. Where do I have the stone? Go make the pedestal, the energy pedestal. And why, what we need this for is um, basically if I hold the if I hold the Necronomicon. Where's my Necronomicon? If I hold it here in our charging uh, cell <laughs> of sturdy stone it should uh, charge it should charge so hello one two three one two three this was very weird hmm hold on you never stand in the range of statues holding the book or craft the pedestal to place the book on. Make sure the statues are three blocks from the pedestal and at the same height. Hmm. That's weird. Well, let's try the pedestal then. Why is this not working? Oh no, it requires open sky above to function. I'll be back, guys. So, we dug a hole on top of the statues, and now they're working, guys. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the Necronomicon is being charged. So, let's see. We've got 155 uh, energy. Uh, nice, nice, nice. So what do we need for the beneath teleporter? We've got the monolith stone, we've got the demonic wheel. We'll make a dark oak fence. Oh no, we don't have any dark oak. Gold dust, I believe we do have. And if we don't, we're just gonna grind some. Gun powder, we definitely do. And then the blank teleporter. I think we have one block of each. A black dye, we do have. Corallium pearl, we do have. Block of coal will make some, and then the apprentice orb. So next stage is to get the apprentice orb, and to do so we need to transform the blood altar to tire two. And uh, yeah, guys, this is going to involve a lot of uh, self stabbing and filling up the blood altar with my own blood. Um, why is this buffalo? They keep getting away, these guys. They just don't want to work. Hold on. 
So yeah, guys. Um, uh, you can also smelt rotten flesh, and I think you can use the the bubbles, bubbles. Yeah, the blood bubbles, blood. Oh, called coagulated blood. Blood slime block. No, this is the one we need. So yeah, you can place one to get somehow. You can use it. Maybe this. Basically, you use it to make more blood. Um. So yeah, guys, I'll see what I need for this thing to get going, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So we're back. I checked everything we needed to move on. And we have everything besides the blank teleporter. And for the blank teleporter, again, we have everything besides the apprentice blood orb. And to do so, we need the tire 2 blood altar and a corallium pearl, which we have. So, starting out uh, in blood magic. You see no info for the blood altar. So what you're going to want to make is a divination sigil. And to do so, you'll need some ash. But before that, you'll need some arcane ashes. To get the arcane ashes, you'll need the hellfire forge, which we made in the last episode. To get the arcane ashes, you'll need two ashes, some demonic wheel, which powers up the Hellfire Forge, one white die and one black die. Sorry, and one charcoal. White die, uh, we I made by crushing bone meal. Oops. Oh yeah, that works. Have some here. And then, yeah, this guy made the block of coal for us, which we will use later for the blank teleporter. And the black die, and this thing should uh, work actually. Fire for. What am I doing wrong? In Ash. Oh, sorry! Right, they look similar. You need one gunpowder, gun one ash, one white powder, and some charcoal. And you get the arcane ashes, which is, um, I believe it has 24 uses, which is good. So you take the arcane ashes, sorry, I'll just remember. Um, yeah, you'll need a blank slate. To make a black blank slate, you need about uh, one thousand uh, blood. One th is it one thousand? One thousand blood and uh, stone. But as you can see, you cannot see at this moment how much blood I have inside. That's why we're making this thing. The then you have to throw some ashes and a blank slate and uh, yeah soon we'll have our divination sigil which will allow us to see how much blood is stored in the blood altar see it shows you the info about the altar so it's tire one and i only have like uh, 2200 uh, blood in the altar let's see how much uh, do we make if I if I use my almost my full HP? So 100, 100. How much was that? That was 2,000. Sorry, 3,200. That's not too bad. That's not too bad because we're aging quite fast. So guys, so what I'm gonna do is um, basically to to upgrade the altar to the next stage. You need to place to the next level, tire, tire. You need to place eight 
runes, eight runes all around it, one level below it. So the blank rune is uh, six stone, two blank slates, and uh, you can use the weak, weak blood orb. But I'm going to craft the speed runes. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll do it later. So you'll need sugar for it. I think, guys, I think I'm going with eight blank runes so we can go to the beneath today. So, um, can I craft the blank rune on camera? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Did I use my blood? Right. Let's do it on camera, guys. I got one. One blood rune. I'll put another stone in. It should cook and give me the second. Second one. I will need six stone. And I will need a weak blood orb. Which is made from. From blood. Hold on a sec. Weak blood orb. Yeah. You need cordulated blood. To get that, uh, you can smelt some. What is it rotten flesh? Some rotten flesh in the melter. Uh, I got a block, but you don't really need it. You can uh, just craft one, which is for rotten flesh, and uh, pour it into it. An ingot. Oh no, just the casting basin, but the the other one was it was it called? I don't remember how it's called. Hold on a sec. The casting table, right? If to make it, you just cast some uh, blood, 160 milli buckets of blood, which is for rotten flesh, into the casting table and you get what you need so let's get the weak blood orb let's uh, just uh, craft it and craft the first rune and then i'm just gonna stop myself a lot off camera build eight runes and we'll get the next level uh, thingy what do you call it the apprentice blood orb come on you can do it you can do it much blood does it need? Let me see. Two thousand. Hmm. You should have enough. Weird. Hundred. All right, it's done. Nice. I believe it doesn't get consumed. So let's check this out. Check this out. Yep, it doesn't get consumed. So, guys, I got my first one. I'll be back when I have seven more. All right, guys, we we're almost done. Um, it was actually very quick, very quick. Yeah, we'll need some more stone. Let's see if our last. Blank slate is done. It's done. Very nice. Boom. Make our blank crown down. And I think that's a tier two. Oh, there you go. Now it's a tier two button. And we'll need we'll need five thousand, right? Yeah, five thousand blood make basically all, all i've been doing is eating waiting for the for my hearts to go up uh, smash myself with the hammer just a bit and uh, yeah place some stone wait for it to become a blood rune craft the blank slate That's all i did thousand i would assume you can uh, place the tp right here sleep or set the, the spawn here Kill yourself with the dagger, respawn, kill yourself with the dagger again. But 
I mean, it wasn't that much time. Thousand. Four more. Four more. Four hundred more. We are getting very close. And let's get a Coralium pair. Oh. One, two, three. Is that enough? More than enough. Let's get some more. All right. Coralium Pearl. And then Blank Teleport. This needs to do a ritual. How do we do that? Uh, I'll gather all the materials. We got them all. I just need. To... Oh no, guys. I forgot. I'm so sorry. I haven't found dark oak. I guess I'll uh, be back when I find some. Guys, I was thinking of going uh, on an adventure to find the dark oak, but I was thinking maybe this guy has it. That's it. the market. Just need some wood, some planks, and pla pants flute. Unfortunately, the pants flute is consumed. Let's see if this guy has it. has. Dark Oak Saplings. Hmm. He does have it, but he needs the golden. Fortunately, this guy is not for us. So I'm guessing I'm going on an adventure. I'll see you soon. Alright, guys. Um it's been about 20 minutes and I finally found some dark wood. So, at the beginning I went this way and uh, yeah, I found some cool looking deserts, some uh, terracotta biome, I don't remember what you call it, uh, some cool cliffs and then I made a circle around like here. Uh, got back to my village and I remembered uh, this mod pack act, acts like this. If this way is desert, this means this way is hot, this way is cold. So I thought maybe we'll find a biome like this in the cold areas and so we did. So guys, I'm going to get some dark oak and I'll see you back at the base. All right, guys, we're back at base. Got our apprentice blood orb. I was smashing myself with a big blood orb, and um, yeah, it basically stores blood in itself. Wait, what? This is not what I wanted. Huh. Okay, well. I guess I don't know how it works. <laughs> so guys, so, 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 so. I want to make the blank teleporter. What am I missing? What am I missing? Almost everything. Well, we have the three blocks here. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Oh no, guys. Oh no. I thought I'd have a block ready, but I didn't put the charcoal here. That's a bummer. Okay, guys, we're back home. Let's uh, get some uh, dark oak. Thanks, I think. Sorry, we'll need some sticks. Some sticks. How many do we have? Four, four is enough. Yeah, dark oak wood planks. What? Right, right, right. Nice. Fence gate. What else? What else do we need? We got this. We got this. Cold. Do we have coal? I think we do. Check. Coal dust. Like that. Hold on. Let's use the W, sorry, the Y trick. Coal dust. 
just click away, select the thing you need and click Y. Why, why? Nothing? Nothing. Uh, does this guy have something? Nope, 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 nope. All right, I'll grind some then. Grind some. Where's my coal? Where's my Go. Grind some while the bronze is being smelted. Because we... Oh, that's done. The cool trick. So where else do we... Got the coal dust. One gun. Gunpowder. One gun pond, one cold dust, four moon leaf stones, one, two, three, three, four, four. All right, guys, I'm back at base. I've smelted some bronze. Basically, you need to, um, what do you call it, make it in the kiln, and uh, you smelt up some bronze ingots. To get the block. Then I also made the dark oak fence. I've got some monolith stone. I've got the apprentice blood orb, which was a what do you call it? A corallium pearl for five thousand blood in the altar, and you get it. Then I will also need a corallium pearl, one coal dust, a gunpowder. This voice back. Is my block ready? My block is ready. Then I also need a, co a block of copper, a tin block. Black dye powder, which we used uh, the black flowers and uh, mashed them down in the grinder. Somewhere around here. I took it, I took it, took it back. Could be... Where is it? Black dye powder, there it is. Nice, let's make the blank teleporter block of coal. We definitely made those as well. Sorry guys, I'll pick it up right away. Block of coal done by your friend right here, this cute little guy. Okay, don't look at us. So, blank teleporter, done. And uh, I think we have everything. The demonic wheel. Well, dark oak fence, four monolith stones, one, two, three, four, blank teleporter, gunpowder, coal dust, and uh, yeah, guys, we also picked up our Necronomicon, which of course was fully charged, charged, uh, because uh, because I spent like half an hour looking for a dark oak. So where do we set up this guy? Let's do it right here. Here's, here seems like a nice place. And I believe we need to go like a so. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. This goes here. Yep. Yep. Shift right click with the Necronomicon. Boom! Nice, and we have the ritual um, thingy. Uh, basically, if you look in the Necronomicon, it tells you how to do it. And then, to proceed with the ritual, you don't need to place it in any particular order, except, of course, from the blank teleporter, which goes in the middle. So, uh, Apprentice Blood Orb, um, Dark Orc uh, thingy, Demonic Wheel, or Monolith Stones, one, two, three, four, and uh, some Coal Dust. Wait. Of course I did. We don't need this thing. Gunpowder. Then you take your Necronomicon, shift, right click, and boom, run away. Just kidding, you can watch from here. It makes some uh, monster sounds. Ooh, 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 lightning! Oh no! Yeah, I think uh, that it didn't make any sounds because I've got... Ether off? I'm not sure, guys. But we have the... 
beneath teleporter guys which will take us to the beneath but this is all i have time for today and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one where we will head to the beneath i hope you enjoyed the episode guys and uh, i'm wishing you all a good morning a good day and a good night and i hope to see you in the next one Bye.